Hey VR heads, this is Cymatic Bruce with another weekly update. Uh, it's been an exciting week. Uh, development kits have been arriving to some folks. Uh, the Oculus Development Center is open, so definitely have been digging into that. Um, I don't have a whole lot implemented here that's different from last time. It's just really tutorials that I've been looking into, um, so we can take a look. So first I have this guy, a pawn, a skeletal mesh, um, and I uh, learned how to put an animation on him in matinee, which was kind of cool. Um, I also used him as reference for the entire hallway, and then I made the entire thing even smaller than it was before. Um, and hopefully that'll be, uh, or it'll feel a little more packed in, I don't know, once I see it on the rift instead of a monitor, uh, that might be very beneficial there. Um, other than that, did some kind of texture and materials tutorials in UDK. So I have a cube on the left uh, that has a glow in this kind of purplish color, bluish purplish color, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, the center cube is kind of playing with specular mapping. Um, so I have this panel that depending on your point of view and the lighting, like it will seem to fade, which is kind of interesting. Um, I would really like it if a panel was kind of faded like this and then kind of came to life and lit up once you got close. That would be pretty neat. Um, and then we have a cube on the right, which is just a whole lot of effects on a texture altogether. Um, some specular mapping um, and some kind of um, like uh, bump mapping stuff that's going on there, which is kind of neat too. All right. So, yeah, I haven't really implemented in the level fully, just kind of testing things out. Uh, other than that, I managed to get crouch working so I can hold the left trigger down and be crouched and then uh, pop back up once it's released. I'll be posting the source code for that in this update. Um, and uh, one of the other things I end up doing this weekend uh, was uh, watch the anime series Sword Art Online. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was a fun anime to watch. Um, it's about these gamers that are stuck in a virtual reality MMO, uh, which is, is a pretty cool premise. Um, but what was really interesting was the UI in Sword Art Online. Um, it was a really simple, really cool looking UI that kind of was 3D layers that appeared in space in front of the player, uh, which was cool. So I was looking into doing something like that in UDK, and I stumbled upon this feature, which was built in. Um, if I press F10, it pops up with a, a menu. Um, this is done in scale form, so it's like you make a flash file, and then scale form is able to take that flash file and put it into UDK. Well, the thing is about this um, is that one of the features is that you can assign different image elements in the flash file, like a, uh, a Z axis in 3D space. So once you rotate the camera, you see a lot of layering here, which is really, really neat. Um, that would be really cool, or it looks really cool on the monitor. I have no idea how this will look in the Rift. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be looking into this and seeing if I can uh, create kind of a, a UI that would be reminiscent of uh, what was in that uh, anime sword art online is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's kind of it so far. Really doing a lot of reading and, and tutorials at this point, so don't have a lot to uh, to show off. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep making progress. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you next week.